you know, the third, fourth biggest guy on the Lakers, it, you know, right now is, is bigger than any warrior player on the court. So, again, talking about being vulnerable as you see. That was Toscano Anderson, second year out of Marquette. Playing in his 21st game. You can go to Minnesota. You can go to Minnesota Wiggins and just start being more aggressive, driving, trying to create for yourself and others. Don't just concede to the system. And he's wearing number 25, which is the number that Steve Kerr wore at Arizona. And, and shout out to Steve, because when Steve found this out, he allowed for this player to wear his jersey, which is retired at Arizona. And knock down a wide open three in transition. Those are going to be a long film session. Five different Lakers have hit a three here in the first half. Schroeder driving and is fouled. Yeah, Greg Popovich used to always joke and say, hey, look, we do not need we do not need tough guys in February. Schroeder just picked up his third foul, so he's going to come back in. It looks like for offense, he's over at the scores table after he got pulled there. Toscano Anderson wide open. Yeah, he had made his first two three pointers. That was like in the first three minutes of the game. Another turnover by the Warriors and Curry reaches in and fouls. So I think that was the right move. Uh, I think it's still an honor to be able to pick the team. Durant and James are the two captains for the All-Star game, which will be played next Sunday. Okay, keep an eye on that. Hopefully uh, it, it's just uh, precautionary as Toscano Anderson throws that one into the cheap seats. Certainly back on track with Friday's win over Portland and the performance here tonight. Wiseman missing. James trying to pass it ahead and Toscano Anderson with good defense. It's next to, next to impossible to guard him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He needs to see more bodies if you're the Warriors. You know, it bears repeating when you look at the numbers of LeBron James and think this is year 18. I mean, if he wins the MVP, there's a great chance that could happen if he plays a second half like he's played here in the first. You can see he slowed down, but he's gotten smarter. He has been more tactical with how he picks his spots and how he takes apart teams. A lot more assists. You saw him leading the league in assists last year. So... While he has slowed down, he has increased his basketball IQ. Oubre gets that one to go. Oubre gets into the paint and is able to hit over Markeith Morris. A lot of that has to do with improving your game, whether it's your three-point shot, your pick and roll, your defense. That is a play that he was not making when he first joined the Lakers. You know, Clay suffered an Achilles injury, the same thing that, you know, KD obviously was dealing with. And they, they talked two or three times a week, yeah. Steve said. Eight players with nine points or more. Toscano Anderson a little out of control, turns it over. Yet Wiseman missed 11 games with that wrist injury we were talking about. So that's, that's quite a bit of time. It's nearly a month. Blocked by THT. At that Akumbo with a nice pass outside. McKinney missed it. Kaycock gets the rebound. But it's Warrior ball. Toscano Anderson with a spin. Nice Ooh. finish with the left hand. McKinney missed it. Kaycock gets the rebound. But it's Warrior ball. Toscano Anderson with a spin. Nice Ooh. finish with the left hand. Okay. Horton Tucker soaring to the rim and flipping it up and in. Get a steal, and then McKinney couldn't put it back. But six Lakers in double figures. They lead 117-84. Mulder drills a three. 